stack order routing or payment for order flow is really interesting because brokerage firms such as Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, Ally, and any of these brokerage firms that you might be using are selling your orders to third parties. So here's how it works. Let's say you want to buy 10 shares in Colgate. You log into your Robinhood app, you put in um, an order for 10 shares, and you hit the buy button. At that moment, Robinhood takes that order, sends it to a high frequency trading company like Citadel. They buy the shares, potentially at a discount, and then they sell the shares to you at the price that you wanted to buy it at. The high frequency trading company makes money and Robinhood gets a kickback. So how can the high frequency trading company actually make money? Well, think about manipulation technique number one, dark pools. So whenever your order is sent to this high frequency trading company, they have access to the public exchanges, but they also have access to the private exchanges, the dark pools. So Colgate might be trading at one price on a public exchange, but in the dark pool, it might actually be trading at a cheaper price. This is how the high frequency trading company can actually buy those shares at a cheaper price from the dark pool and then sell them to you at a higher price. So you might be thinking, how is that even possible? Because if you want to trade on a dark pool, you cannot just buy one, two or 10 shares of stock in a specific company. It needs to be at least a block of 200 or more shares. Well, your order of 10 shares in Colgate actually gets bashed with other orders. That's how it's able to get done. Now, the question comes up again. Is this ethical? Or is this legal? Of course, it's legal because all these brokerage firms such as Robinhood and TD Ameritrade, they need to register all these orders with the SEC. And one thing you can do is you can Google this. If you type in your brokerage firm and then SEC 606 so for example Robinhood SEC 606 you'll see the document that details everything when it comes to the high frequency trading trading companies that they're using to route the orders to and how much they're actually getting paid for your order the biggest player in the game is Citadel most of these brokerage firm firms route 40 to even 70 percent of their orders to citadel now i don't mind that my orders are being routed to a high frequency trading company because i still get the price that i was looking for when i when i want to buy colgate those 10 shares at let's say 100 bucks i get the price that i was looking for but one thing to keep in mind is that your information is being sold to third parties. And also think about it like this. Nowadays, there is no commission when it comes to trading. If you use Robinhood, there are zero commissions when it comes to buying and selling. Back when I started investing, I used Scottrade, which had a $6.95 commission fee. So whenever I buy or sell shares, I had to pay $6.95. Doesn't matter if I buy one share 10 shares or 500 shares i had to pay 695 and then when i switched over to ally i had to pay 499 even when i did my research back in the 80s you had to pay 45 dollars as a commission just to do some trading just to buy and sell nowadays it's free if you go on Robinhood, ally it's free to, to buy and sell one way that these companies can recoup some money is to do payment for order flow by selling your order. So if you don't like that your information is being sold to third parties, you might have to do some research on your brokerage firm if they're actually doing payment for order flow. I will warn you though that most of these companies now are using this tactic. Just look up the, the SEC 606 report for your brokerage firm and if one exists then pretty much you know that they're doing it 